which, which we elect our own legislator. <laughs> 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 Everybody, everybody, let's go ahead and get yourself over to the shade. Please, if you don't mind, because the speaker could be big. I would like to thank everybody here for coming out today on a sunny, beautiful day in Pasadena to, uh, to advocate and, uh, and demand for uh, human rights in our respective communities. So yesterday was Human Rights Day. Today, uh, the international solidarity again. You guys, you guys can go ahead and come over here. We got you. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all doing? Yeah. Yes, I like that energy. Give me more. How are we doing? And we know that the Burmese military junta rammed trucks into protesters, killing them. that, as of now, the Chinese Communist Party enacted the national security law and used it to unfairly penalize political opposition in Hong Kong. We know that the Chinese Communist Party flew 52 planes into Taiwan's airspace in an effort to intimidate and erode away at Taiwan's quest for independence. All of you for coming here today on this hot, sunny day, and I'm already sweating, in front of Pasadena City Hall. Today, we commemorate human in the process of strengthening Thailand monarchy to fight against communism in Southeast Asia, help restore our human dignity, because we are human, not dust. On this Human Rights Day, we wanted to invite all of you to pressure the Thai government to release these political prisoners and amend laws contradictory to fundamental human rights. No one should be jailed, let alone killed, or expressing what they believe. Let's say the chance after me. I will say Padet Gan, and you say Jong Pinat. One, two, three.
เด็จการจงพินาศเด็จการจงพินาศเด็จการจงพินาศ Thank you everyone Thank you all for that wonderful wonderful speech And then now we're going to Thank you everyone Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen My name is Pakistani Kachamanchai and I represent the associations of Thai democracy and the Thai community who yearns for democracy and respect for human rights in our country. Human rights as a set of principles that have been universally recognized since the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1848 are an essential set of value that underpin the fundamental worth and dignity of each and every person. Human rights guarantee that all people, everywhere, men and women, young and old, rich and poor, regardless of our background, where we live, what we think, or what we believe, will be treated with respect. We should, all the very least, have the right to life, the right to a fair trial, freedom from torture and other cruel and inhuman treatment, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and the rights to health, education, and an adequate standard of living. Unfortunately, this ideal- The Student Union and Weaker LA for assembling today in honor of human rights. Building up to today's Human Rights Day, or yesterday's Human Rights Day, unfortunately we saw a string of anti-democratic actions. In we want democracy! Awesome! And the final call is going to be freedom. And everyone says, for all! Okay? So, freedom! For all! Freedom! For all! Freedom! For all! Freedom! For all! So the second one is going to be, we want, and everyone is going to be, people's impacts will be isolated. The world is watching the United States, and following our lead. I want to take this moment to honor all those who have died and continue to fight for democracy. The United States must stand with the people of Burma and Thailand. Chinese government. I have also worked at the Inter-American Institute for Human Rights in Costa Rica, El Instituto Intermanicano de Derechos Humanos, and I've traveled throughout Latin America to write a travel guide on the region. This gave me the chance, thank you very much. Thanks, Jay, uh, for that wonderful. Hey, oh, what do we want? We want democracy, Jay. So, what do we want? Democracy! What do we want? Let's see if we can get some words. Come on. Three fingers. Don't be shy. You're not dancing, you're just moving your fingers. Come on. So, this is a letter from Senator Tammy Dugworth. I'm, so she said, greeting friends, I'm honored to welcome you today uh, to today's Human Rights Day event. I want to thank the Coalition of Asian Pro-Democracy Groups for organizing a rally for human rights. This significant event demonstrates your support for victims of human rights violations, particularly in China. As a United States Senator, I recognize the critical nature of everyone having the right to a healthy postpone prosperous and happy life free of political persecution. According to the U.S. Department of State, China has perpetuated human rights violations against the Uyghurs in the Northwest Xinjiang region, crushed democratic uprisings in Hong Kong, shown military hostility against Taiwan, South Rule Island, and more. Highlighting such egregious acts and empowering individuals through events like this is vital to mobilizing change in the future. As such, I applaud today's Alliance of Asian...